Hey guys, it's General Heat here, and today we are going to be tackling the mystery of the Secret Marine from Halo 1. Now, a lot of you may not have even been aware that there was a secret, um, a mystery behind that Secret Marine, uh, but there is. Now, you probably assumed it was just like a regular Easter egg, but there's actually a lot more to it, which we'll get to in a second. So to get to this Marine, you gotta throw a grenade here, right? The mission start. So, if you do that, you'll be able to stay inside the pelican. If you do it too late, you'll get out and you'll want me to get back in. So, do make sure you basically just spam your left trigger during the cutscene. And while you're spamming it, once it hits this part, you'll um, throw a grenade just in time. And then you stay in the pelican, you'll fly right out of the map. So, this is basically the same the same you know same old method to get out here to see the secret marine it's one of the oldest tricks in the uh, the book so once the pelican lands you just uh, simply hop out and just walk in this direction now th it doesn't matter if you play on anniversary or classic but if you play on anniversary mode there's gonna be a lot more trees around here and the secret marine is actually hidden inside one of the trees on anniversary mode so it, you might easily miss him because you can't see him through the trees unless you walk into the tree because they're not solid so it might be easier to find him on classic mode but uh, if you if you've done this enough then you'll probably remember where he is but like I said it's probably just easier to do it in classic mode So here he is, right behind this tree here. Now the same old secret marine, nothing changed. Uh, and usually in most videos on YouTube that I've seen about this, including my own, we all just assume that this is an Easter egg that Bungie put out here. You know, case closed, that's it. Just, you know, little small Easter egg just to be funny. But, like I said, there's actually more to this. and. You know, a lot of people have been tipping me off recently on my other comments, and I've actually been putting it, a lot of information together and doing some research about this, and it's actually pretty interesting. So, you know, stay put, because I've got a lot to talk about. But for now, just burn the image of this marine into your head, in both Anniversary and the Classic graphics. Just uh, remember what he looks like. So here we're going to uh, continue to the uh, the middle of the mission where Master Chief opens this door and if you look closely when he opens the door that's the secret marine that was out of the map the same one and that is because this marine the one that's standing outside the map is Private Mendoza who you will see during the uh, helmet cam footage from Jenkins helmet in a little bit but uh, let me just show you again in uh, anniversary mode, just so you know it's the same person. But basically, as we go on, um, Private Mendoza, he is basically part of the squad that uh, goes in with Johnson and Jenkins to investigate this area. And you see all this on a helmet cam footage when Master Chief puts it into his helmet. But what's significant about this is he's not actually like I mean it kind of is an easter egg in a way but there's actually a purpose to him being out there in the middle of nowhere so you see in a lot of games uh, it's kind of like really basic level stuff if you do it this way it's not the most professional way of doing it but uh, in a lot of games it's pretty common like for the stuff that's supposed to be like used later in a mission in like a cutscene or whatever it's pretty common to you know just hide it really far out of the map where you don't expect most people will see it and that's basically what's happening here um, Private Mendoza or the Secret Marine is basically he's used during later in the cutscene as you can see here during during this part and the uh, later part in, in the helmet cam footage but he's hidden outside the map because uh, for whatever reason Bungie needed him out there because they wanted to spawn him during the cutscene later so that's basically his purpose for being out there. It's just to be used as like a placeholder or like a temporary spawn. And then later his position is changed and moved to where Master Chief is for the cutscene. 
So, you know, that's basically what I found d during my research of why he's out here. But there's actually more to that. Uh, a little bit more. And this part is a little bit more of a theory than a uh, definitive explanation. But, and this is uh, thanks to uh, someone in my most recent video for tipping me off to this. But if you use the bump possession mod or cheat to take over um, Mendoza or the Secret Marine here, uh, you can play as him. And, you know, the bump, bump possession is basically whoever you bump into as Master Chief, you take them over. And this works on pretty much anything. You know, elites, grunts, marines. It works on all of them. However, there's something different about the Seeker Marine here. And that is that once you take him over, not only can you just play as him and, you know, do everything a Marine can do, but what is most significant about him is that you are able to go through the entire mission while playing as him. And that's significant because if you were to take over any other character, you know, an elite, a grunt, or another marine, once you hit a loading point, you will actually, um, in most cases, the game will basically freeze you in place because it tries to despawn the marine, but you're still playing as the marine. Uh, but the game will either freeze, or if you were to hit a cutscene, and after the cutscene, the marine would just, or whatever character you're playing as, would just behave like really, really weird, and eventually they'll despawn anyways. And basically, you can't you can't complete the mission while using bump possession. It's normally impossible. But for some reason, Mendoza can actually be. Um, played as throughout the entire mission, no matter how many loading points you hit. I mean, you've already seen me hit quite a few loading points on the way down, but yeah, like I said, you can just finish the entire mission. I, just remember to turn off the bump possession cheat. I forgot to turn it off here, so I had to quickly turn it off. Because, you know, there's usually a lot of enemies, and you don't have a weapon yet, so it's pretty easy to bump into an enemy. But he is fully capable of using weapons. However, if you're going to play as him throughout the entire mission, I suggest you also use the um, the God Mode cheat to make yourself invincible. Because otherwise, you pretty much die in just a few hits. And it's even worse with the Flood. But anyways, back to the original point. Uh, as you can see, we're going to do Bump Possession on another uh, Marine. So we, here we took him over, as you can see. And we're going to move on ahead to the nearest loading point. So once we clear this elite here. And the loading point is basically right here in this hallway. And we hit it. See, loading and pretty much most of the game is frozen. The elite's frozen. Marines just stand in place. And it looks like there's a lot of screen turn in my video. But that's because the screen is actually freaking out. And... I don't know, I think it's trying to like despawn you, but it it also can't despawn you at the same time, so it's just reacting really weirdly. So that's basically um, what happens in most cases when you use bump possession. But it does not happen to Private Mendoza. So here we're going to just do with another Marine, and we're going to hit the cutscene and see what happens. So while we do this, moment you've all been waiting for. A pun. So, did you know that whiteboards are quite remarkable? <laughs> so this leaf blower I have, it, it doesn't work anymore. It sucks. <laughs> I'm very good friends with 25 letters of the alphabet. Like, I'm quite familiar with them, but I don't know why. Anyways, <laughs> see as we can, as you can see, we just finished the uh, cutscene there while playing as a marine. But as soon as it starts, it forces you to basically walk backwards on this path, and then you despawn right here, and then the whole map just goes like crazy weird, and you just can't get out of it. So, anyways, going back to playing as Mendoza, um, as you can see, we're about to hit a cutscene here. Uh, it's still Master Chief in a cutscene. 
but that's that's not important. Even after the cutscene, you still stay as uh, plain as Private Mendoza, or AKA the Secret Marine. But um, here, when Chief opens the door, it is still Mendoza here. So, I mean, I don't. I don't know why, like, Bungie put him out there and not any other Marines. I, I guess part of it was to be an Easter egg. But, so my theory here for why you can play as Mendoza throughout the entire mission without, you know, getting stuck anywhere is because, well, actually, one second. If you're going to play as Mendoza, you got to be very careful with the Flood. I'm going to show you right here what happens if a flood jumps onto you before I get on the explanation. But uh, see, when a flood jumps on you, <laughs> it doesn't disappear. Uh, normally you'll die like right away, but since you have the uh, invincibility on, you you can't escape. The flood will never get off of you. Even if you like throw a grenade by your feet, it doesn't get rid of the flood. And it prevents you from walking correctly, so you're basically... It, you get stuck at like certain places like this and basically when this happens you have to revert but one funny thing is that with all these flood on you you're like bleeding like massive amounts of blood as you can see like you've already bled like gallons of blood <laughs> there's probably more blood on the floor here than like there is in the human body now but this is part of why Halo 1 is rated M and Halo 5 is rated T because 343 took out all of this from Halo 5 but yeah, so just be careful, and if you do get flood attached to you, you'll probably have to revert to the last checkpoint. So just make sure you kill all the infection forms. you got to be very thorough about it. So anyways, back to my theory about this. Um, my theory is that, you know, at one point early on, Bungie might have intended for you to play as uh, Private Mendoza in some in some way, shape, or form. Maybe, maybe during the flashback or during the... Um, during the viewing of the video, you were supposed to play as him in the video rather than just watch it as a cutscene. And that's actually not that far-fetched because in a lot of video games, like take Call of Duty um, Modern Warfare 2. Uh, in one of the missions, during one of the flashbacks, you play as Captain Price in the flashback. So it's not uncommon for you to play as other characters during some kind of flashback or during like some kind of security footage or video recording. So it's possible that at one point, Bungie did intend for you to play as uh, Private Mendoza, and that's why playing as him, you can actually get through like all the loading points of the game freezing, because at one point you were supposed to play as him. But they probably scrapped that idea and just made it like a recording that you just watch during the cutscene for whatever reason. I mean, I think it would have been cool to play as a Marine for like part of a mission, but I don't know. Maybe there's just a bunch of glitches associated with it. Like, as you can see, when a float jumps on you, it gets, like, totally messed up. And even when you just take damage in general, it, it like, stuns you. So it's really hard to play as a Marine. So maybe they're having, like, glitches with that for getting it to work. And they just cut it and decided to make it a cutscene only. But who knows? That's, that's just my theory, at least. I can't really think of any other reason why only Mendoza is playable throughout the entire mission. Certainly, it's not an Easter egg because there's no way Bungie could have intended for people to use like Bump Possession Bot on PC, which was released many years later, and play as Mendoza. So, you know, I don't know. That's just my theory, at least. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any alternate theories or, or if you happen to know the actual explanation for why you can play as Mendoza throughout the entire mission. But like I said, that's just my theory. Uh... The main, um, the main mystery solved to this is that the Secret Marine is just Private Mendoza, and he's just out there to be used as um, kind of like a placeholder, sort of, and is spawned into like a cutscene later on. That's the main uh, mystery solved. The rest is just my theory about why he's there and why he's playable with bump possession uh, the way he is. But yeah, I hope you guys found this to be interesting, and if you did enjoy this, remember to leave a like. And like I said, leave your thoughts in the comments and other theories as well. I'm definitely very interested in it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, because we've got a lot more awesome videos coming up soon. 
So make sure to do that, and we will see you guys next time.